as a medically trained doctor in medical school, four years of medical school, four years of residency, I was never taught about how to evaluate the gut flora, how to look for parasites, how to look for mold toxins, how to look for Lyme and co-infections, how to look for pesticides, how to look for toxins in the environment. And my friend Gary Becker, Brecker was recently on Rogan and he was talking about parasites. Whenever I tell people that I eat a lot of meat, they always say, aren't you worried about parasites? Especially when I tell them that I occasionally eat raw meat. So let's break it down. Like what are gut parasites? Should people be worried about them? How do you test for it and how do you fix it? When most people say parasites, people think they're gonna see a worm in the toilet, like this scary foot long creature. How did this live inside of me? Right. And we have seen worms, but typically parasites, they're microscopic. You're not gonna see them. And I had these years ago. I lost 30 pounds without trying. I didn't know if I had cancer. Uh -huh. I didn't know what the hell was wrong with me, but I was freaking out. I went to the GI specialist. They wanna do a barium swallow. They wanna do a chest X-ray, all this conventional testing, right? To look for a GI cancer in exactly. the stomach or the gut. Yeah. yeah or ulcer or something uh -huh. like that, right? And so, of course, they say, Evan, you have IBS. I'm like, okay. Some catch-all term that means yeah. nothing. It's junk. And so fortunately, I was able to get a GI map test done, uh -huh. and that's where I discovered I had not only H. pylori, but two parasites.